Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing year, that January is unfolding in a beautiful and powerful way. And we have been focused on stepping forward. We've been focused on, as we look ahead at 2018, how can we step forward on purpose and with purpose? So that as the year unfolds, we are becoming more of who we want to be. We are sharing more of what we want to share. We are bringing forth those things that matter most to us, to each and every single one of you. That is what we're focused on this month. And if you haven't listened to our earlier shows this month, I encourage you to do that. I think they will inspire and encourage you. And today we have amazing guests that are connecting with us. We're, we actually have people from different parts of the world today, which is kind of fun. So we have Trisha Garrett, who is joining us from California in the U.S. And we have Sophie joining us, Romeos, from France. And so it's really nice to bring a multicultural experience <laughs> and um, uh, perspective and international to our show. So I hope that you will enjoy that. And I think it's going to add a really nice richness to the wisdom and the information, the perspective that is going to be shared today. Because we're focused in today specifically on how to step forward in your greatness, the way you're made, authentically, beautifully, and powerfully. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And I want you to just take a moment and feel that pour through you, that you are beautifully, wonderfully, powerfully made and absolutely needed for such a time as this. It is not an accident that we are connecting together in this time and space. There is a purpose. And I want you to receive everything that is here for you today. But that means you need to be willing, because you have choice, willing to be fully present, to receive everything that is here for you today. So let's take a breath together, really deep, big breath. In fact, see how big you can make your belly. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's breathe out through your mouth like through a straw. Great. That kind of breathing, this kind of breathing of really in through the nose, expanding your belly out through your mouth like through a straw, actually brings your stress levels down, lowers your cortisol levels, and helps you become very present, mind, body, soul, and spirit in the moment. So here's a tip I can give you right at the beginning, (laughs) that if you can remember to pause and breathe like that, just one minute, two minutes throughout the day, it's going to powerfully bring your focus in, give you clarity, purpose, and reduce stress levels. And it will stop this feeling like you're pulled a million directions and you have to go to the next thing and next thing. And there's that kind of rush because every time you pause and breathe like that, you're choosing in that moment to fill every cell of your body with oxygen, and to be present so that with your next breath, you can choose to move forward in those things that matter most to you. And I'm honored that you are choosing to spend this time with us, to let us pour into you as you are stepping forward in 2018. Now, we usually do almost all of our shows live, and every once in a while we do a pre-record because of scheduling or or that sort of thing. And so I wanted to let you know this is a pre-recorded show, and that's actually going to give us kind of a neat perspective um, from one of our guests, because she has a really big thing coming up, and we're getting to talk with her before, (laughs) and then you're going to get to hear the show after she has... um, taken that step and stood in that space. So it's going to bring a really beautiful, rich mixture to our conversation to today. So we get to be present and we get to be looking ahead to the future. 
And where this all ties into you is as you're looking at how January is unfolding, as you are looking ahead at the rest of 2018 and 2019, I want you to think about how can you step forward, to move forward in the areas that matter most to you. And that can be a little bit different for each and every one of us. So how can you step forward so there's an action and becoming and be more of who you want to be and how you want to be in your life? Sometimes we get so busy. We're running from the next thing to the next thing like we're storing up that someday I'll get to do that. Someday I'll be that. Someday, someday, someday. And it can always continue to be someday unless we take steps to shift what we're doing and how we're being. It's going to keep being the same someday. But if we can stop and we can really make the commitment shift the steps that we're doing, the actions we're taking and how we're being in it and start to bring it forward today, we can create the future that we want. But it begins today. It begins with each step and each choice that we take. And I hope that feels exciting to you, that we have the ability to shift the course of our path. We have the ability to step forward and move forward in those things that matter most to us, that we can have that impact, that positive difference, make that positive difference in the world for our passing there. But we have to be purposeful about it. It doesn't just magically happen. We get to take steps to bring that forward. So let's take a moment. Those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Hands on the wheels, no texting and driving, (laughs) just inwardly tuning in. But those of you who are able to put both feet on the ground, We've already practiced the breathing, that deep breath in through the nose, expanding our belly, out through the mouth. And I want you to put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, so you're physically bringing all of you in, mind, body, soul, and spirit, and you're breathing. Beautiful. And in this space, as we're looking at 2018, eyes closed. You're safe. What is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage and empower you to move forward, to help 2018 become all that you want it to be and how you want to be in it? What is it you need? And are willing to receive Because you have choice in that. You have choice in what you are willing to say yes or no to. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Just see what comes up. It can be a picture, a phrase, a memory, an emotion, a knowing We have all of our different senses that can communicate with us. What is it that you need and are willing to receive? Just capture that information. Come back into the room. Eyes open, another big breath. Beautiful. And I invite you to write it down. Write down the information you received so that you're able to keep top of mind awareness of what it is that you need and are willing to receive. And I'm going to invite you to not be attached in how and what form that comes to you. Kind of being open about that. We get so caught up in the busyness of life that we can miss what we need that is right in front of us because we forgot we got distracted or we didn't never pause to listen and discover. So I'm going to invite you to keep it top of mind throughout our time together today and as you go back out in the world. What is it that you need and are willing to receive and actually add in anticipation and excitement that 
not only are you willing to receive it, but it, that it's coming to you, that it's here. And perhaps a piece of that can even happen in our conversation today. So one more breath. And I, as I'm tapping in, I'm just so joyful and excited and honored to be connecting with all of you today. So I hope that you're feeling that. I'm looking forward to all that 2018 will bring for all of us. And I would love to just tap into our guests for a moment to see what was laid on their heart as we're weaving our time and our hearts and energies together. So Tricia, did you have something laid on your heart? You know, yes, I did. And first of all, Rebecca, thank you so much for having me on the show. It's always such a mm-hmm. pleasure to be here. So thank you. You are and welcome. What was, so what was on my heart was excitement. Um, you know, as you know, I've been doing a lot of stuff lately and just remembering to be, to stay in excitement and in, to enjoy the journey. Because mm-hmm. um, I think yes. sometimes we can work so hard on certain things that we forget, you know, to have fun along the way. So excitement was what was on my heart. Oh, I love that. And a reminder to find the joy because you're right. We can get so busy in the doing (laughs) that we forget to enjoy the journey. So thank you. Beautiful reminder. Love having you on the show as always. (laughs) You're very welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sophie, how about you? Did you have something laid on your heart? Yes, thank you for the question, and thank you to be here with you. That's a great pleasure. That is the first one for me. So uh, this is also an honor. And, uh, yes, what I would like to share, but I really like the breathing exercise you do because this is something I try to do every morning is to set an intention and with my breathing to speak to myself. And so this is exactly the illustration of um, what happened for some people during the group meditation we do together. And uh, so I like it very much because I realize that it is what really happened in last year is that the intentions that I helped with breathing and also with guided visualizations was the one which it manifests the best into 2017. So mm-hmm. I like it very much. Well, thank you for sharing that, and you are very welcome. We're happy to have you here today joining us, and I love that share that um, when you reflected back on 2017, that those intentions that came forward most powerfully for the ones that you wove that pausing and that, that breathing in with the intention. Really beautiful share and great awareness, because I think sometimes we underestimate the power of pausing and breath. Oh. Yeah. 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 Thank you for sharing. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) Listeners, what was laid on your heart as we took a moment to pause and breathe and maybe even had an attention that came forth? And as we get ready to go into our first commercial break, here's how I invite you to use it. I want us to put into action this exercise of pausing and breathing and processing real time. So during these commercial breaks, they're each two minutes, I'm going to invite you to stay present. Resist the urge to go cross things off your list and really let what is being spoken into your heart and spirit integrate. Let it become part of you one breath at a time. And with that, we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. 
finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you friended us on Facebook yet? Why not? Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for the keywords Voice America. Once you are part of our Facebook network, you'll receive daily messages about what's happening with our shows, this week's featured guests, and new happenings at the Voice America Talk Radio Network. And you can add your voice to the always active discussions on our timeline. Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes, that you really gave yourself the time to pause, breathe, and receive. I'm going to encourage you to do that throughout the show, but I am glad that you're joining us for this next exciting segment. We're going to have a deeper heart-to-heart conversation with one of our guests, really tapping into her wisdom. You're going to be amazed at her heart and all that she is bringing forward. And I want to just share a little bit about her formal background, um, just so you have a perspective of who this amazing individual is. So Trisha Garrett is the owner of Bright Light TV Channel. She's a certified cuddler for preemies and newborns. She's a producer and host of The Trisha Garrett Show, a best-selling author, certified life coach, and she has a track record of equipping girls, teens, and women to stand in their greatness. She's absolutely passionate about you knowing that you matter, you are enough, and you are powerful. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Trisha Garrett to the show. Welcome! Wow, thank you. I almost didn't recognize that person. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Rebecca. You are welcome. Isn't that funny how we see ourselves sometimes? (laughs) Yes. How how we're introduced. (laughs) So I love that. (laughs) But that is absolutely you. (laughs) Thank you. Very, very glad to, to have you joining us. And... I love how you were talking about enjoying the journey earlier in the show because you have been on such an expansive journey and there are so many things that uh, you're stepping into. Um, Many that I know of and many I'm sure I don't know of yet, but someday will (laughs) because I know that you are on a a powerful um, journey to help people see their greatness and to really stand in their power and that you have a global mission and calling on your life. And I'd love for you to share with all of us just a little bit about why. Why does it matter to you personally to help people in this way? Wow. You know, it matters to me because I can remember times when I wanted help and didn't know how to get help. Mm. I didn't, I just knew the pain of what I was going through. Mm. but didn't know how to obtain any solutions. And so for me, to for a woman to feel that she doesn't matter, it breaks my heart because I, I can look at her and see the amazing gifts that are within her and know that whatever she's feeling, it could be turned around. Yes. Beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing that because sometimes we see where people are now and we don't always know what has led them on that journey and has created that passion. So I appreciate you you sharing a little bit about that. And kind of tying into that, I wanted to share with our listeners today a little bit about 
Bright Light TV. And if you wouldn't mind expanding on, <clears throat> excuse me, some of what you're doing with that, the vision of what you're creating with that channel. And I know it's an international channel, an RHD TV mm-hmm. network, but I would love to know kind of what you're hoping it will do and create for people around the world. What I'm hoping is to bring on hosts, bring on guests that will provide tools for the viewers so that when they watch the shows or have any interaction with Bright Light TV, their lives are changed. They are feeling stronger. It's like you could, it's like almost where you come to um, be nourished. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. I love that word being nourished. And I think that is something we are all not very good at. We're good at pouring into others. We're good at helping, being busy, doing lots of stuff. But we can forget to be nourished. And that just when when you said that, I could just feel it. (laughs) It felt really good Mm. to have, you know, someone out there advocating not only to give us tools and things that we can do but to nourish us too so I really appreciate that and it just felt luxurious so listeners I I hope you could feel that too as she shared some of her vision for Bright Light TV and I wanted to I alluded to this in the very beginning of the show that we're getting this snapshot in time so we're actually recording this show on january 10th but we're releasing it on january 23rd so we've got you in this really beautiful space right because it's just before (laughs) you're stepping into some of the things that you're going to be doing at this upcoming conference and then it's going to be shared kind of after that so what i was wondering is would you mind sharing just a little bit about this upcoming conference and what you're doing and what you're stepping into and when the show is shared, what you're hoping um, would have come from that conference. Yes. Thank you. Well, it's called um, Black Womanpreneur Mm -hmm. 18 Conference, and it's going to be taking place in Tampa, Florida, where I'm going to be speaking on the live stage. And this is like, for me, a really big deal (laughs) because you know, this is new territory that I'm stepping into, and it's exciting, and it's, um, you know, I don't want to say scary, but it's like where you, where you, where I feel like I'm being confronted with my destiny. Mm. And so to be able to now reach out and touch and experience, you know, women in the room in that way, I'm just really excited about that. I love, and I love that, that phrase that you said, confronted with your destiny. And I just want you to know, we are lifting you up as you take that step and you stand in that space and meet your destiny. And I can't wait to see all of what will unfold and become. And I celebrate that you're leaning in to your destiny, that you're not shying away, but leaning in. I celebrate that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And you're getting to carry a little bit of all of our energy with you, <laughs> cheering you on. Oh, you know, supporting it, this you. Is, but can, I, can I just say this really quickly? Please. That's the cool thing about it is that it's like you don't, wherever we're called to be and, and are on our journey, we don't get there alone. I, you know, I get to take you with me because, you know, you mentored me, coached me, and there's other people in my life that have mentored and coached me. So we all go together. It's not a yes. solo journey whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Underlined explanation point. And, Listeners, I want you just to feel into that because sometimes we try to make it a solo journey and it is not. Mm -mm, There's no way. And letting people walk beside you, cheer you on, pour into you just as you pour into others and allowing Mm -hmm. that in your life. Um, so again, I'm very excited for you. And I wanted to, to give you a moment as you're at this space where you're getting ready to confront, to meet your destiny. Do you have a piece of advice for those of us who know 2018, there is something coming up, but we know this is on our path. We know this moment, this thing, this journey is called to shift us in a direction. This is part of who we are and what we're becoming. What piece of advice could you give us? I would say don't listen to how you feel. 
go with what you know. Mm. When you know that you are called, you keep moving forward and not listening to your emotions. Your emotions will catch up with what you're doing, but your emotions will also hold you back in fear, frustration, feeling not enough, and we're not going to listen to that. We're going to go with what we know, and that is what the calling is on your life. Yes. Beautiful. I'm giving the listeners a moment just to soak that in. Go with what you know. The emotions will follow. And you get to choose what you're listening to, what thoughts you're entertaining. Go with what you know and be willing to step into your destiny and your greatness and share the gift of who you are. Yeah. Breathe that in. And Trisha. I was just thinking, because you have this beautiful channel and programming that's designed to nourish us, can you share how we can plug into that and and learn a little bit more and, and build that nourishment into our lives? There's a couple ways. One is you can go to um, RHD Network and find us that way because we're on you know RHD Network um, Bright Light TV, and it's on the Trisha Garrett Show. Or you can go to directly to Bright Light TV and you know, find us that way also. We also have a Facebook page, Bright Light TV Facebook page. If you wanted to connect, that would be another way. Beautiful. Which I would love that because we get to interact. (laughs) Well, I was just going to emphasize that lots of ways. And I know you love to interact (laughs) and connect and and support. And so the Facebook um, platform is a really great way to do that with Bright Light TV. So um, listeners, you are now being given that support and that opportunity to reach out out and build that nourishment and that encouragement in your life. And one of the things I, I love about you, Trisha, there's many things, and one of them I uh, really appreciate it is we were at an event together recently and someone came up to you and hugged you and you didn't know them. And they gave you this really big hug and they said, you're exactly as you are on TV. <laughs> I watch all your shows and I remember you sharing with that with me and how much that meant to you because it meant that you were being authentic and who you are as you were stepping into as you're echoing out I should say sharing out through television and so I'm just bringing that forward because sometimes we think people who are in media um, are one way and different in person and um, something I appreciate about Trisha is for her, it's so important that she comes to the world and she impacts it in an authentic way and wants to encourage others to do that. And she's absolutely walking the talk. So those of you who are resonating with Trisha, um, I want to encourage you to tune in and um, walk with her and with each other on this journey that we have. Really build that nourishment and support into your life. With that, We are getting ready to go into our next commercial break. So if everyone remembers, that means two minutes (laughs) that you get to pause, breathe, integrate. And I want you to think about what are you confronting? What are you meeting up with? What destiny are you connecting with? And you can feel it calling you forward in 2018. And I want you to feel it. And, and, and let it pour into you and embrace that excitement and what you know that you know that you know. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you friended us on Facebook yet? Why not? Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for the keywords Voice America. Once you are part of our Facebook network, you'll receive daily messages about what's happening with our shows, this week's featured guests, and new happenings at the Voice America Talk Radio Network. And you can add your voice to the always active discussions on our timeline. Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you took those two minutes to pause, breathe deeply, and think about 2018 and your destiny. And I hope you have felt a quickening of your spirit and excitement of leaning into all that will be unfolding and thinking about what is the support you need to do that, the nourishment that you need. Because We want to have a plan around that. We want to build things in to help you move forward in a powerful, purposeful way. So our next guest is just an expert in helping you set intentions with purpose, really bringing that breath and life to all that you are wanting to bring forward. So it's perfect timing to bring her into the show today and have a a beautiful conversation with her. But I want to share a little bit about Sophie so that you know some of her background and the perspective that she's coming from. So Sophie is a workshop facilitator. She's native to the French Alps. She is a personal development and stress management coach that combines multiple modalities and techniques to support her clients. And she's absolutely passionate about helping you voice your soul and bring that forward. So please, warm welcome the amazing Sophie Romance to the show. Welcome. Well, thank you, Rebecca. That's a great. Thank you so much for this opportunity to represent the little voice of French Arts. <laughs> That's a pleasure to be with you today and fish at you. <laughs> Oh, you are so welcome. We are glad to have you joining us and echoing your voice (laughs) throughout the world as we touch those people's lives around the world that are just really looking to step forward on purpose and with purpose in uh, 2018. And I know that that can bring up a little stress. It can bring a little stretching. And so I love that we're able to tap into you and your heart and your wisdom in this area to support all of us to have just a a powerful 2018. And I wanted to ask you why. Why is this work of helping people voice their soul, of helping people move forward with intention, why is that work personally so important to you? Mm, Thank you for the question. Yeah, I um, realized when I was um, six years ago, when life was um, uh, kind of uh, challenging at uh, several levels, it can be the health, it can be the, the purpose of work, and uh, also some uh, family challenges. And then I realized that I was uh, in a distance from uh, my own soul. I was mm-hmm. in a distance from my own trajectory, and um, because okay. I felt that my place was uh, no longer comfortable and I lost a little bit the joy of life. And so I had to find solutions for myself. And then I decided that it would become um, my new job to help people to find again how to voice their own soul, that they can find again the joy of life and how to express that 
themselves because when we do express our true self, this is where we can inspire others and then yes. we can get inspired by themselves too. I love that. I love that um, you have walked to that that place, that journey where you have felt so out of alignment and, and lost joy and that it set you on this mission to find it and, and that now you are helping others really step into who they are and bring that joy back. So thank you for the work that you're doing and helping people get into alignment with their soul and, and bring that forward. So thank you. Mm, thank you. That's a pleasure to, to, to do it. And when we can see and see that people start again to be on their own trajectory, that's the day their soul wanted to be on, so then it does become a pleasure. And then we can see great reali- self-realization. Yes. And uh, this is, yeah. Well, and I would love for you, because I love this phrase that you use, and I've heard you use it multiple times, voice your soul. And just like I, I've really latched on to the, the phrase that Trisha said earlier about confronted with her destiny and, and bringing joy back into the journey, I feel like these are themes that um, are reoccurring in our show today. And I would love for you to express what voicing your soul, what does that mean when we voice our soul? Yeah, so voice your soul, yeah, excuse, yes, please. <laughs> no, please, I would love for you to share how you see it. Yeah, the way, what, what voice your soul means to you. Yeah, so when I was a teenager, um, I realized that um, probably one day I would have to voice something without knowing exactly what it would be. And mm-hmm. so it was a kind of, know, sometimes it can be as a kind of intuition. But at that moment, I didn't know exactly what was intuition. And so it stayed in a part of me as, okay, one day I'll have to voice something without knowing what. And then I did realize, uh, it was a few months ago, thanks to you, Rebecca, Mm -hmm. when uh, I did go to the, you know, it was the tenant speaker research. And Mm -hmm. then a friend of mine sent me this email and saying, "You uh, you should do it, you should apply. And then it was my key point. And this is where the motto really came, because I was helping other people to voice their own soul, but without completely realizing what was going on for themselves. And when I did apply it to your talent speaker research, I realized that it was absolutely my motto, let's voice mm-hmm. your soul. And it really came when I had to apply to your own um, opportunity for us to voice ourselves. And yes. so it really became my motto, and it is on everywhere on my website now. On the, um, when I do speak about uh, during the workshops, so and people like it because this is what some people did use: how to voice themselves, how to voice their ideas, how to voice their creativity. And yeah. when we speak about voice, it's just not only voice; it can be how to concretize them. Yes. And uh, so, yeah. No, I, I love this. And I love what, we're, love what you're sharing because we met through the speaker talent search, that speaker search that you applied. And it was one of those situations where um, an email got forwarded to you and you didn't know much about it, but you followed your intuition. You followed not exactly knowing where it would go, that you were willing to lean into that and the process gave you the opportunity to go deep and really tap into your voice and your message and your intuition and and what you're looking to do and and bring forth in the world. And that all ties into voicing your soul. So I appreciate that. And listeners, I want you to be thinking about that. What are you building into your life to help you tap into all of you, your voice, your message, your intuition, the imprint you're wanting to make in this life and in this world for your passing there. What is it that you want to, how do you want to touch people's lives? What do you want them to say about you, the impact that you had on their life? And that all ties into voicing our soul, bringing our gifts and our talents forward. 
And I know, uh, Sophia, our time just goes so quickly, but you have um, a way that you can help people really establish intentions powerfully. So as they're looking at, at 2018 and perhaps being pulled forth in their voice and their souls calling them forth and their destiny, what are some things that they can do to establish an intention um, powerfully in their life? Yeah, so there are, uh, so far I see two things that we can implement pretty easily. When now we are in the beginning of the year, and so this is often the time when we do set intentions. And so I do it also for myself, and I do it in two ways. The first way, I do believe into the power of the written word. Mm-hmm. So I do take the time to go through um, my different um, uh, categories of life, which can be, you know, personal, uh, the, in the personal, there is the emotional life, there is the spiritual life, the health, and then also about the family life, the couple life, the professional life, and the social life. Mm-hmm. So I do take the time, and this is what I can encourage people to do, so for the people who may want having something, a trick to do, how to do that, to mm-hmm. take the time to write what I do want to accomplish and, um, in this um, coming month. And okay. so I take the time to write in details, mm-hmm. to build images, and mm-hmm. uh, I do also take the time to set a vision board, and then which are with simple images which do represent what I would like to um, manifest into my life for the next month. Okay. And so I did realize the power of the written words on the images on my vision board, which is still in front of my eyes for speaking with you tonight and mm. today. And so I do realize that um, which is written and as images, um, I did start to manifest more than 50%, which is on my vision board. Beautiful. And it's actually more than 70%. And because it's every day in front of my eyes, uh-huh. it can be very simple words, very simple images, but step by step, they do implement it to my subconscious mind. And then the okay. important thing is to trust the, also the magic of life, mm-hmm. to set our intentions and then to trust the magic of life that it will manifest. And sometimes it does manifest in a way we may have not expected. So to yes. be ready to be surprised by life, too. I love that. So ready to be surprised by life. So um, listeners, I just want to restate a couple of those steps to make sure you heard them. And, um, you know, sometimes it's helpful to hear things in multiple voices and energies. And so, um, Sophie, I love what you had shared because in the beginning you of the, of the show, you had talked about the power of breath and really breathing that into our intentions. And then now you're, you're talking about um, writing, the power of writing it down and seeing it in detail, like it's happening for the next month, for the next year. And then creating a vision board. And so as I'm hearing this, it's like we're using all of our senses. So what we're seeing, what we're writing, what we're feeding into us, and that you're even what looking at your vision board now. I love that. And over 70% has come forward. So I love statistics. So that's beautiful. <laughs> and 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 then trusting, trusting that what you have said, what you have created and on our creating will be. And then being willing and open to be surprised by life and how it can come forward. Again, that anticipation and that excitement. How thank you for sharing, Sophie. I appreciate your heart. I appreciate your wisdom and giving us some tools, some ways that we can step forward in 2018 and beyond. Listeners, I want to encourage you as we go into, oh, you're very, very welcome you're very welcome. And listeners, as we get ready to go to this next commercial break, I wanted to take these two minutes to really think about what is being spoken into your heart and spirit. And perhaps as you're pausing, breathing in your intentions, write down some of them and plan also when to do that vision board. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment.
Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you friended us on Facebook yet? Why not? Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for the keywords Voice America. Once you are part of our Facebook network, you'll receive daily messages about what's happening with our shows, this week's featured guests, and new happenings at the Voice America Talk Radio Network. And you can add your voice to the always active discussions on our timeline. Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes, and it has been just a privilege and an honor to be on this journey with you, both um, having you as part of our community and our listening family and having this moment and time together where we get to pause and connect and look at 2018, because I want to let you know, we have this moment, and there's not a guarantee we'll have our next week call, our next show. I plan on it. I hope for it. But I know we have right now. And so I'm honored that you're spending right now with us, that you're letting us pour into you and that you are willing to receive. It is such a sacred place when we can connect heart to heart in a real way and a real time. So I want to thank you for being with us and being on the show. I echo that out to our special guest experts today. Same thing, that we get to connect. This moment will never happen again exactly in this way, time and space. So thank you for being part of this and joining with me to support our amazing listeners. And with that in mind, as we are all going back out into the world from this powerful time of connection, I wanted to give you each an opportunity to share one more piece, one more thing that is on your heart that you want to remind our listeners of, that you want to inspire them to carry forth. Sophie, what is on your heart? Oh, yes. The thing which is coming to me right now is um, the power of um, when we do meditate, we can take a little moment in every morning and then Mm -hmm. to take the time to clean the brain waves and to breathe deeply, and to remember that we have millions of cells which are waiting for our uh, instructions, our direction. So we can use the power of our brain waves to set an intention every morning. The way you do explain so nicely with our breathing, what do I need today, what would I like to manifest today, it can be a way of being, it can be an emotion, something, and then to breathe in and breathe out and let, let the cells make the work for us in the day that they will dance also with the universe. This is really what I would like to share with people right now. Thank you. And I love that, that every morning all of our cells are waiting for direction to and an opportunity to dance with destiny, to dance with the future. What a beautiful reminder and image So listeners, remember, and it can actually be right now, this moment, that all of our cells are waiting 
for direction, waiting for intention. So really being purposeful about that. Beautiful, beautiful share, Sophie. Thank you. Love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tricia, how about you? What's on your heart? Well, I would say first after doing Sophie's exercise, that she so beautifully <laughs> explained, <laughs> then I would ask the, the, the listeners to what New Year's resolution have you had repeatedly over the last several years mm. <clears throat> and challenge them to do something different this year to actually get support, to get help in fulfilling it. Because clearly, if it's on your list every year, there's something there for you and that you're desiring to do. So let's get some support around it and make it happen. Yes. I love that because as you were saying earlier, it's not a solo journey. So if we're having those intentions year after year, um, perhaps letting someone walk beside you and help you bring it forward instead of trying to do it all on our own. Beautiful reminder. And it felt very nourishing if I'm going to tie back into that. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And listeners, um, so thank you, Trisha. I appreciate that. And listeners, you're, you're very, very welcome. Listeners, again, just such a privilege to have this time with you to have the opportunity to connect and I just want to encourage you to remember some truths about you that you are beautifully and wonderfully made on purpose and for a purpose for such a time as this 2018 and going forward and I hope that you got some great tips and ideas to support you, to nourish you, to walk beside you, to every day take that moment to give all those cells direction on where we're going and what we're creating and what you're building because you are needed just as you are. You are a gift to 2018 and beyond and to those people in your life. So my, what's on my heart is to remind you that wherever you go, whatever you do, you have choices. And I want to encourage you to choose to live on purpose and with purpose, becoming all that you are called to be in your destiny and let that connect and collide and join others. That's how we make the world a better place. It's one heart, it's one connection, one choice at a time. So may you always be willing to bloom where you are planted and shine. Have a great January and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Shine.